and you could even go into here and do another call out of just that like head detail and then here you could look up like a curtain wall detail or like a head for like a, um, a window or something like that and then to add in these we can go to you could actually create a drafting view so drafting views are similar think of that more like a CAD view it's a two-dimensional sketch of something and you can reference like another drawing so here we have all this we could do a call out there for a drafting view so in reality it looks like a call out but then when you click it it opens up a drafting view the other thing you can do is you can add um, where am I at? So you have this whole section here, which is detailing components. So if you have something like repetitive, you could do like installation or you can add regions and stuff. The other one you can do is components. So if you look, there's detail components or repeating detail components. So a standard detail component is just like, think of it as like a clip art or a block in CAD. If there was a steel beam here, we're just clicking there. And it's not actually placing the beam in the model. If we show this in the other view, see it doesn't exist. But in that view, we've added it in there. So we're basically now taking a two-dimensional drawing of our 3D model and adding more detail onto it because this is where you would need to work out all those details and make sure they can build it all and everything. So we have that. So that just exists two dimensionally on top of that view. Right. Which is floating there. Mm -hmm. It doesn't exist anywhere else. Right. And then, so here you could do like, let's say you have bricks. If you want to do a row lock, which is basically a brick on its side so that it locks in two widths. <laughs> You can have that like that. We can then grab a there you go. Or if that you wanted this whole thing to be like brick running up, you could do instead of that one, you can do one of these repeating detail components, so like brick. And you click where you want it to start. And then you get its spacebar to flip it. You can go up like that, or you can go out of the screen and it won't show anymore. And then we can align this to here. Align that guy there. Bring those guys down. You can start loading in different detailing components. So we can go to oops load family and then here you go to I think they're under annotations they might be under oops detail <laughs> items so depending what it is see these are in the master format for the different divisions so let's say I wanted to find um, some sort of like flashing or something like that to add to here I can come in here and see look like, sheet metal flashing and trim and then there's a ton of different see so like gutters profiles gutter bevel wall flashing cap, double wall through flashing, and you don't have to worry too much about this, like you can just draw in some stuff, or you can look up like a picture of a detail for like a top of a window or something like that, or a typical current wall, so current wall is not a good one, so we can go to
think that would be might have it in here. No. It's not an opening. It's storefront it's not going to be the same but similar so let's see if there's a head there we go let's just put that in here so right now see the, the amount of detail in the current wall from the Revit is not very high right it's just like an outline but I can come in here and put this one and that has way more detail and if we pick thin lines and then you zoom in you can see that has a lot more detail to it and then if I wanted to add like flashing and you can also in this view if they don't have a component or something you just want it to just manually draw a line you can do that too using a detail line so this is just like let's say I wanted to add a special flashing up around the back of this coming down like that or dripping down there oops I can do that and then I can click that line And say that should be and there's something in there and this isn't very clear because it's like a small scale but you would you could get down into that level of detail with your drawing but see there is a ton of stuff that you can do with it you can also add like individual pieces if you wanted to add like a bolt going through one to another one or a masonry tie going back out if it was precast you could show like the precast and then if there's like an embed plate you can draw that in so you can add as much detail as you want using this and that's how they do it most of those details that you see in the drawings nowadays are just like this just drawn on top in a drafting view. Do you guys actually do that for your products or do you still have typical, typical 2D? Like, you know? Well now everything's in Revit so we had a whole library of like old 2D like library of details and those have all been migrated into Revit so okay. someone actually had to bring it in and then draw it. Right. And what's nice is if you have something like that you can start a drafting view so let's say I go to view and we just start like a new drafting view and let's say it's ideally let's say it's something it's a detail that you do it's comp right okay so that's what the drafting view is because mm -hmm. once you draw it obviously you don't yep draw it again. so this could be like let's say like door head typical and then you pick the scale whatever you want to do and then it looks just like a blank sheet and then you can also drop in here a CAD just like we imported before and then when you go to draw your detail lines notice you have this guy to pick lines so you literally just click around your CAD file and then you just turn off the CAD and it looks like Revit okay, so, so it's, and it's, it's actually nice yeah or if you wanted to you could just drop CAD in and then just use that as a drafting view but if you wanted more control you could retrace it with the, with the Revit lines which ultimately makes sense obviously mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep and so all that kind of stuff you would control like that and then you can but just like in CAD you would you can draw like shapes like this and then you can go back and start modifying them yeah basically the so here it's like your, now your two-dimensional drafting yep and if you actually start using the line weights you can get the different So sometimes these don't like the display. You can also you can make new ones of these. You can
fail. And so you can do different intensities just like you would CAD if you want to do them dashed. So that lets you fully draft. So some people love doing that. And you could do a whole drawing in here. Yeah, I'm sure somebody would love doing that. <laughs> yeah, not me. Somebody would, yes. So. But then this is where you get down to that fine level of detail where you could show like that could be just one stud and then yeah. here's your screw going into it and where you want to end the chip and where you want like one layer of chip overlapping the other one or double layers of chip. You don't have to show it everywhere. So the important thing is you want the wall type to have the correct structure so that it's the correct width. So that when you draw it, and then later on, once you go and start to detail on top, it, you can also here load, like if you're going to view, oops, sorry, annotate, you can also use these in here. So I can grab oh, wow. like a component, instead of drawing a drywall, I can go here and then go to detail component. And let's see. Um, What else could I want? I don't know. Why is 41 up here? Oh, because these are all. So finishes. So you have like different corners, corner bead, casing bead, or just like a section of wall, or if you want to reveal or something like that. So then we can open that. So see here it's three quarters, but you have all these different type X, quarter inch, five eighths, like typical drywall, and then you can see like how big that is. That's why it wasn't showing. Remember we kept switching the profile? It, they were changing. It's just this drawing is like eight miles wide. Yes, because you don't realize like how big you are. And all those details stay in two D only, right? Yes. So it's just a two-dimensional drawing. And you can see it has hatch and everything. And you can change like the level, the, the scale. So we can go to like bigger, or you can go smaller. And you can add new line types like red. So what's nice in some projects will load.